Yeah, you know, really, city officials, they're not happy about this one. They are questioning this study, but it is certainly making headlines and making news. It has Detroit residents talking as well because everybody is looking for solutions. A brazen murder in broad daylight on the 19,200 block of Schoolcraft on Detroit's northwest side. Police say it's the result of an argument between two men. But that storyline is all too familiar with what many residents are calling an escalating homicide crisis in the Motor City. If we look at all the latest situations, what's been going on lately, we got kids shooting, getting guns and then you got a lot of fights happening. Wallet Hub, a personal finance website, did a study of deadly violence in America and charted Detroit as the third city with the biggest homicide rate problem in the nation behind Atlanta and Baltimore. It shocks me. It shocks me because, you know, we are already getting voted, like I said, for a lot of number one things. So seem like everything good, but this is Detroit. We reached out to Mayor Duggan's office for a comment on this story. A spokesperson was critical of Wallet Hub as being a source for this sort of crime reporting. That spokesperson said the only stats that matter are those from the FBI. Here's the thing though, Wallet Hub says those are the same stats they used as part of their research. So all of this information is collected from the census and the local crime statistics. And we've been updating this monthly since about the peak of the pandemic. That's really when things started to increase. Jill Gonzalez, communications director for Wallet Hub, says their research is also about tracking the factors that contribute to community violence. She says many potential life-saving solutions, like creating a stronger economy for working families, can help reverse the trend, but other things have to fall into place for that to happen. Low socioeconomic status linked with education problems, income, employment, all these things lead to higher crime rates in general. So it's hard when cities like Detroit and Baltimore are still trying to get over the effects of the pandemic and really create more economic status for people while also dealing with an uptake in homicide rates. And a little while ago, we heard back from Detroit police. They sent a statement saying, quote, the department does not respond to unverified third party studies about crime. We rely on the FBI uniform crime report, as does every other law enforcement agency in the country, classifying cities as having, quote, the biggest homicide rate problem by examining only a single quarter, <clears throat> excuse me, quarter, <clears throat> excuse me, quarter of a year compared to prior years is simply irresponsible and inconsistent with sound data analysis. The city police and uh, mayor's office, they really went on to say that despite the uh, trends, they say that Detroit closed out the years 2021 and 2022 with decreases in overall violent crime. And they stressed that the mayor and police chief continue to talk about their strategies to reduce violence across the board. We're live in Detroit, Dave Kinchin, Fox 2 News. Yeah, Dave, Wallet Hub is known, if you really take a look at what they do, they're basically a free tool for monitoring credit reports and credit scores. And they also brag about teaching about personal finance overall to especially young people out there. Uh, if that's their primary goal, and then they do these polls on the side and they want people talking about Wallet Hub, they did a good job tonight. Yeah, and you know, we also talked to them about uh, this and they say that part of their research and what they do is really, they look at economic indicators and how that relates to overall quality of life, uh, resources, uh, jobs, uh, education, uh, appropriate city services. So it, what it seems like they're trying to do is put all of that in place and uh, when they crunch these numbers. All right, Dave Kinchin for us live with that. Thank you.